guys, it's Miss Sarah. I hope you guys have had a great weekend. Today it is time for another e-learning video and I hope you are ready. Um, I hope you're ready to learn and do some fun activities. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. So, if you would, why don't you look outside and tell me, is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy? Is it snowy? Is it any of those things today? Look outside, go out your, go and look at your closest window and tell me, what is it doing today? So Miss Sarah's going to show you out hers, so let's look and see. Ooh, look at it outside. It is nice and sunny today. So it looks really nice outside. Maybe it might be a good day to go play outside, um, as long as it doesn't rain. So, um, we're going to go ahead and do our calendar, so our days of the week. Get ready to say them with me. Are you ready, guys? Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Good job. All right, ready? Let's get our bus and let's drive our bus. Today is Monday. Can you guys say Monday? Good job, guys. All right, you ready? Let's say a sentence with it. Say, today is Monday. Good job, guys. All right, today we are going to do something new. We are going to work on a new letter. Good job. All right, so you ready? Who knows? What letter is this? If you know it, good job. If you did it, that's all right. We're learning it. It is letter X. Can everybody say X? Good job, guys. All right, what is this a picture of? It is a fox. Do you hear the N sound? Fox. That's what the sound letter X makes. So, X, fox, X. All right, let's say it together. X, fox, X. Let's say it again. X, fox, X. Good job, guys. All right, we are going to read a crazy book today. It is called Fox in Socks. Be very patient with this, Sarah, because it is a tongue twister, and it is hard to read sometimes. So we are, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to keep trying, and I'm not going to give up. Okay? Fox in Socks. Fox, socks, box, knocks. Knocks in box, fox in socks. Knocks on fox in socks in box. Socks on knocks and knocks in box. Fox and socks on box on knocks. Chicks with bricks come, chicks with blocks come, chicks with bricks and blocks and clocks come. Look, sir, look, sir, Mr. Knoxer, let's do tricks with bricks and blocks, sir. Let's do tricks with chicks and clocks, sir. First, I'll make a quick trick brick stack, then I'll make a quick trick block stack. You can make a quick trick chick stack, you can make a quick trick clock stack. Let's count. How many blocks has he made here, or has he stacked? Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here's a new trick, Mr. Knox. Socks on chicks and chicks on fox. Fox on clocks on bricks and blocks. Bricks and blocks on knocks on box. Now we come to ticks and tocks, sir. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, sir. Clocks on fox tick. Clocks on knox talk. Six sick bricks tick. Six sick chicks talk. Please, sir, I don't like this trick, sir. My tongue isn't quick or slick, sir. 
I get all those ticks and clocks, sir, mixed up with the chicks and talks, sir. I can't do it, Mr. Fox, sir. I'm so sorry, Mr. Knox, sir. Here's an easy game to play. Here's an easy thing to say. New socks, two socks. Whose socks? Sue socks. Who sews whose socks? Sue sews Sue socks. Who sees who sew whose new socks, sir? You see Sue sew Sue's new socks, sir. That's not easy, Mr. Fox, sir. Who comes? Crow comes. Slow Joe Crow comes. Who sews crow's clothes? Sue sews crow's clothes. Slow Joe Crow sews whose clothes? Sue's clothes. Look guys, they're helping each other. Isn't that nice of them? Sue sews socks of fox and socks now. Slow Joe Crow sews knocks and box now. Sue sews rows on Slow Joe's crow's clothes. Fox sews hoes on Slow Joe Crow's nose. Hose grows, hose goes, rows grows. Nose hose goes some. Crows grows, grows some. Mr. Fox, I hate this game, sir. This game makes my tongue quite lame, sir. Mr. Knox, sir, what a shame, sir. How do you think he feels right now? Is he happy? No, I think he's upset. We'll find something new to do now. Here is lots of new blue goo now. New goo, blue goo, gooey gooey, blue goo, new goo, gluey gluey. Gooey goo for chewy chewing. That's what that goo goose is doing. Do you choose to chew goo too, sir? If, sir, you, sir, choose to choose, sir, with the goo goose, choose, sir, do, sir. Mr. Fox, sir, I won't do it. I can't say it. I won't chew it. Very well, sir. Step this way. We'll find another game to play. Bem comes. Ben comes. Ben brings Ben broom. Ben brings Ben broom. Ben bends Ben's broom. Ben bends Ben's broom. Ben's bends Ben's bends. Ben's bent broom breaks. Ben's bent broom breaks. That was really hard to say, you guys. Ben's band. Ben's band. Pig or big bands. Pig bands. Ben and Ben lead bands with brooms. Ben's band bangs and Ben band brooms. Booms. Do pigs play in a band? Do they play instruments? No, but they do in this book. Pig band. Boom band. Big band. Broom band. My poor mouth can't say that. No, sir. My poor mouth is much too slow, sir. Well, then bring your mouth this way. I'll find it something it can say. Luke Luck likes lakes. Luke's duck likes lakes. Luke Luck licks lakes. Luke's duck licks lakes. Duck takes licks and lakes Luke Luck likes. Luke Luck takes licks and likes duck likes. How is he feeling now? Upset? Frustrated? I can't blab such blibber blubber. My tongue isn't made of rubber. Rubber. Mr. Knox, now come now, come now. You don't have to do that now. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, please. Through three cheese trees, three free fleas flew. 
While these fleas flew, Freezy Breeze blew. Freezy Breeze made these three trees freeze. Freezy Trees made these trees cheese freeze. That's what made these three free fleas sneeze. I can't say it. Such silly stuff, sir. Very well then, Mr. Knox, sir. Let's have a little talk about Tweedle Beetles. How is he feeling now? He's very angry now, isn't he? How's Mr. Fox feel? He's happy. What do you know about Tweedle Beetles? Well, when Tweedle Beetles fight, it's called a Tweedle Beetle Battle. And when they battle in a puddle, it's a Tweedle Beetle Puddle Battle. And when Tweedle Beetles battle with paddles in a puddle, they call it a Tweedle Beetle Puddle Battle. Battle and... When beetles battle beetles in a puddle paddle battle, and the beetle battle puddle is a puddle in a bottle, they call this a Tweedle Beetle Bottle Puddle Paddle Battle Muddle and When beetles fight these battles in a bottle with their paddles and the bottles on a poodle and the poodles eating noodles, they call this a Muddle Puddle Tweedle Poodle Beetle Noodle Bottle Paddle Battle and Look at Mr. Knox. He is so confused, isn't he? And Mr. Fox is happy. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Sox Fox. How is he now? Angry again. And how is Mr. Fox? He is shocked. He's like, oh, oh no. When a fox is in a bottle where the Tweedle Beetles battle with their paddles in a puddle on a noodle eating poodle, this is what they call a Tweedle Beetle Noodle Poodle Bottled Paddle Muddled Duddled Fuddled Wuddled Fox and Socks, sir. Fox and Socks, our game is done, sir. Thank you for a lot of fun, sir. How does Mr. Knox feel now? He, look at that face. He is happy. How does Mr. Fox feel? You guys are right. He is shocked. He is doesn't want to be in there. The end. All right, so that was a fun book. Um... So what I want you guys to do today is I want you guys to do a couple things. If you choose to go outside today because it should be a nice day, I want you to get some chalk out, write your X, practice that. Um, another thing I want you guys to do today is I want you to get some paper. This is for your fine motor, okay? Get some paper. Get a big piece of paper. Miss Sarah doesn't have one, okay? So she's just using what she's got. Get a big piece of paper and I want you to just rip it. Just rip it, okay? Once you do that, you can throw it all away. But I want you to rip your big piece of paper into tiny pieces. Um, then what I want you to do for your gross motor is I want you to either go outside and play or if you um, choose not to, I want you to get out either some socks or paper plates. I want you to put your socks on your feet. And if you have wood or carpet or whatever on your floor, try it and just see. Take your feet, put your socks on, and scoot your feet. Okay? Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, if you don't want to do it with socks and you have paper plates, take paper plates and put them on your feet. Okay, like we did in the classroom. And again, go back and forth. You can race mom and dad. You can race a brother or sister. Make Have a fun time with it, okay? Make a game out of it. Do something fun. Okay, guys? Um, so now, 
we are going to do SRA. Are you ready? All right. Let's see. We are doing this. So, I'm going to tell you what this picture is. This is a table. I want you guys to say it. You ready? Get ready. What is this? A table. Good job, guys. Now, we're going to look at all these three pictures. There are these four pictures, okay? I'm going to point to it. When I touch it, you tell me what it is. All right, guys. Are you ready? Get ready. What is this? A table. Good job. Get ready. What is this? A boy. Good job. Get ready. What is this? A dog. Good job. Get ready. What is this? A cat. Good job, guys. One more time. Are you ready? Get ready. What is this? A table. Get ready. What is this? A boy. Good. Get ready. What is this? Yes, a dog. Good. Get ready. What is this? A cat. Good job, guys. All right. Well, I hope that you guys have a fun day. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get your e-learning done. I hope you work really hard on it. And remember, happy Apple behaviors at home. Miss Sarah loves you all, and I miss you so very much. And I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.